Hey guys, how are you? Parshas Vayigash. Yosef reveals himself to his brothers. And when he hugs Binyamin, he cries. It says, Vayevk Yosef al tzavarei Binyamin. U Binyamin bechad tzavarav, meaning, translation. Yosef cries on the necks of Binyamin, and Binyamin cries on the neck of Yosef. Why necks in plural when he talks about Yosef cries on the necks of Binyamin? Not a neck. How many necks a person need? Chazal tell us that the two, the plural, next, is talking about the two Batei Mikdash, two temples that were destroyed because they were on the land, on the Nachala of Binyamin. And Yosef cries on that. And Binyamin cries for the Mishkan Shiloh, for the tabernacle, which was in Shiloh, which was on the land of Yosef. Why, and I'm asking myself, why are all the avos, the fathers, the patriarch, and the matriarchs, are crying for things that are so distant, so not immediate, so not close to us? For example, Yaakov is crying when after he kissed Rachel, he's crying, Chazal tells us, that he cries because he will not be buried with her for eternity. What a reason when he first meet her to cry about that, and Yosef is crying about Bati Mikdash and etc etc why why is it happening and I was remembering Rav Ben Sion Freiman my uh, meaning one of the big Rabbim Zechel Tzadik Levracha who I had the schus to learn from and he used to daven for Klal Israel. he used to daven for Klal Israel. we daven for Parnassah we daven that someone will be healthy will be healthy we have to someone who davens on something much larger than us right the Avos, that's what makes them who they are, because they looked at the large picture of the eternity of Am Yisrael. And we have to try to do that too. We have to daven for other people. We have to try to daven also for Klal Yisrael. We have to daven because we don't know who, where in the world is having trouble. And maybe we can help someone to do that. And follow the footsteps of our fathers. Have a good Shabbos.